What's up, guys? We're going to uh, take a look at the Diablo 4 patch notes that j literally just got released, like, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, if that. Um, this is the patch 1.1.1 on all platforms that is going to be live August 8th. So we still have six days until they're live, but from the last campfire stream, they did give us the patch notes that we can check out. So that way we can see what changes are going to be coming to all the platforms in the game. Uh, they have highlighted and gone over a lot of this already from the campfire, but I kind of want to look at and just kind of briefly go over uh, some stuff that may look like it's different or has changed. Um, but the big part of these patch notes coming out is this is actually what is confirmed by Blizzard of what changes are going to be coming on August 8th. So let's just briefly kind of go over this. I don't think too much has changed. I did kind of like go over this and look at it uh, before the video, but um, it doesn't look like too much has changed outside of what they had said before, but let's just kind of like skim through all this. So the big thing that came out of this is the big buff to Sorks and Barbarians, mainly because Sorks had a hard time surviving in the end game. And then barbarians as well as druids, in my opinion, have a real hard time of their resource uh, generation. So what they did was they improved some stuff for uh, Sork in the end game and gave a lot of defensive improvements, which is actually awesome for sorcerers. Barbarians as well as um, druids got a lot of stuff that speed up the flow of combat for them by increasing their uh, fury or spirit generation on basic skills, which is actually huge. Okay, so um, outside of that, you can go through, guys. I'm going to leave a link uh, to the patch notes down in the description below. But this is all the same stuff that they have already said. They've kept it all. Uh, when I was I was kind of looking over this, it didn't look like any of the numbers changed too much here uh, for a lot of these. So this is actually a lot of this stuff is just really, really good. I'm going to let you guys kind of look over that. There's not uh, too many differences that they put in here for the classes in particular. Some of the other changes that they actually made were more general changes and just kind of like fudging the numbers in a lot of ways here. But um, if you want to go over each and every single thing, we had the patch notes in the last video just kind of going over it. But let's go down and see uh, the other changes. So for the gameplay updates, I'm more interested in this because looking over every single class, it looked like nothing changed. Okay, um, they actually changed the siphoning strike uh, lucky hit chance instead of it going to 75% It's actually 85% now. So it's even higher than it was previously Which is actually pretty cool. So there's like some small number changes like that, which I think is really good um, Druids overload stuff got lucky hit chance increased um, Which is really really cool a lot of damage things got boosted um, And then of course the spirit generation here is all good um, for Necro, the cooldown, all that's changed. Willpower and stuff has been changed on the board. The biggest thing coming out of Necro is this right here for the aspect of Torment with Essence Regeneration being increased from 20 to 30% from to 90 to 170%, which is going to be nuts and allow you to farm, uh, not farm, but spam Bone Spear indefinitely, which is crazy. Uh, and then there's some, oh, the Greaves, the unique Greaves of the tomb. The intelligence got replaced with bonus movement speed to kind of help with the movement speed of Necro. This is huge. I really like that. So, uh, some very, very small changes in there, if anything, but the gameplay updates are really what I'm looking at. So, uh, the big changes here, Ma monster density. They increased the densities in monster dungeons and hell ties. We already knew this, but the question was how much, right? So, bosses above level 60 will have more health. So at 60, the health remains unchanged, but 80 is 50% more, 100, 100% more. At 120, 100%, and then 150 is 150. So this is really, a, these last two um, are really applying for when you're doing higher level Nightmare Dungeons. Um, not necessarily the Hell Tides. I don't think we're ever going to really fight a 150 in a Hell Tide, but um, makes sense. Developer note, we are making adjustments to the health values of high level monsters. I do really actually enjoy this with... Uh, with how much in like the builds and how much more insane we make damage numbers, which is kind of nuts. Uh, so yeah, bosses and events at level 35 or in higher monsters will now have a hundred percent drop rate of legendary item. We knew that treasure goblins have a increased legendary item drop chance from level six to 14. And then a guaranteed one at level 15 or higher. Bless me. 
So that is awesome because treasure goblins have felt kind of weak and not really worth going after until this change, in my opinion. Legion events. This is a huge change, which I absolutely love, actually. Legion events are really cool events. You go through with the community, you beat up a bunch of monsters, and then it drops three chests if you complete it. Legion events are now more rewarding and guaranteed legendary item drops starting at 35. This is awesome because it lasts about as long as doing a world boss fight, so it's definitely more incentivized on going to do Legion events, which is actually really, really cool because you do get um, some really good horse cosmetics for your mounts, um, like the ghost one that we got. A lot of people asked me about that one, and that is in there, so make sure to go do your Legion events in each of the zones. So, uh, general, there's a few things that they changed, but it really wasn't anything in particular. Now, the exploit glyph affects uh, or makes enemies vulnerable when you have an active barrier or enemies that have a barrier. Apparently, this was an issue. I never saw this, but apparently, if a monster had a barrier, it wasn't becoming vulnerable if you have the exploit glyph, which is kind of crazy, but that's in there. Um, it also affects PvP. So the cheat death effects will now work properly when it has an active barrier and then it also affects pvp now the big stuff here the cost for refunding skill and paragon points has been reduced we knew this we heard it was up to 40 percent but now we got a breakdown of level by level uh chunks of how much it's going to do so the reduction starts small at lower levels and hits a maximum of 40% at level 100. This is awesome for me. I respect more than anybody in my community, I feel like, and this is amazing. So as an example, if you're level 50, it's 12% less to respect, 60 is 18% less, and so on and so forth. This is really, really cool. I like this. Um, I, I do wish that it was 40% across the board. Doesn't matter what level you are, but I guess it's fine. We increased the stack limit for elixirs. This is very nice. Uh, and then, of course, the additional stash tab that you can buy with gold. And then they re restored the cast time to leave dungeons back to three seconds. This is something that I want to just touch on very briefly for the video here. Uh, shout out to Asmund Gold to kind of bring in light on this. But um, with Blizzard making things like the cast time to leave a dungeon from three seconds to five seconds, it kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth because it's like they just are putting these things in the game to delay us, delay us, delay us, to give us more play time on their game, which makes it look better for shareholders. So whenever we see stuff like this in the game, it's really crappy and you're always scratching your head. You're like, why would they change that? That doesn't make any sense. So it's just all about having play time on the game, guys. So just when we see stuff like this, just know that the developers uh, just really have a big disconnect between the game or just a big disconnect between us as the players in the game. So, Leave Dungeon was an ability being used by other method of easy escape in other dungeons, particularly hardcore players. Yeah, whatever. That's just a, that's just some bull crap right there. But, yeah. The following Nightmare Dungeon affixes have been removed. Cold Enchant, Resource, Burn, and Backstabbers. We already knew this, but it's great to see it officially on paper. Uh, Cage Heart of Spell Breaking changed to upon taking elemental damage, gain damage reduction. That's actually really cool. Uh, Sorks. And then, of course, the generic uniques, Temetry got changed. We're going to see how this really works. The big big um, concern here was that stuff like um, Conceited, where you do more damage when you have a barrier. This wasn't working correctly with Temetry this entire time, apparently. So if you still have a Temetry, don't use it. Unless you feel like the, the it is working for you. If it is, then continue to use it. Otherwise, just wait and get a new drop on the 8th, which is just going to make this so much better. And it's based on max life instead of uh, normal life. And then down here, guys, if you want to read through all this, there's some uh, additional bug fixes in co-op, dungeons, etc. Just kind of affect things. So um, these patch notes are really cool. Um, I mean, they're they're nice. It's kind of, it's really cool to see these things officially put on the screen here. If you want to go through and check out everything individually and just see what, and maybe do a compare and contrast to see exactly what small numbers got changed, like the, the Rogue did, for example, then you can. The link up for this will be down in the description below. But the big stuff is all here, and I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what Blizzard does after this, and hopefully uh, the game continues to go in the right direction. 
um, because I really am enjoying in the game, but it's just, it really saddens me that we have a big portion of our community as well as mine over here on YouTube where people are not playing because how horrible the state of the game is. So uh, these, these class, these patch notes, uh, to me are a very small step in the right direction. I hope uh, we'll see how things go and maybe 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 I'm just overthinking it Maybe it's just a band-aid on top of a band-aid. I don't know But uh, yeah, let me know like the video guys comment down below. What do you guys think of the patch notes? It'll be linked down in the description below Subscribe if you guys are new and then join us over here on YouTube. We live stream five days a week So I'll see everybody here. We'd love to have you and as always stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace